China introduced state-backed NFT platform unlinked to cryptocurrencies. The blockchain services network has started testing its NFT minting and management system. The infrastructure is based on adapted blockchains that are not tied to cryptocurrencies. Before we continue, if you like what we talk about on this channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'll give you a few seconds to do that and then we'll continue. China's state-backed blockchain service network BSN recently announced a soft launch of a nationwide infrastructure to support Chinese non-fungible tokens NFTs, marking a key step towards creating a domestic industry that is separated from the global market and not associated with any cryptocurrencies. BSN said the infrastructure, known as BSN Distributed Digital Certificates BSN DDC, would offer a diverse, transparent, credible and reliable one-stop shop for businesses to mint and manage their own NFTs without relying on cryptocurrencies, which are banned in China. Most NFTs around the world are part of the Ethereum blockchain. BSN, which is backed by state-owned telecommunications giant China Mobile, state-run payment processing provider China Union Pay and government think tank State Information Center said it planned to officially launch the BSN DDC in late March 2022. The 26 founding partners include accounting firm Ernest & Young's blockchain unit Digital Art Fair Asia and the Hainan International Culture and Artworks Exchange Center. NFTs are digital assets that are authenticated and traded on public blockchains. NFTs are not illegal in China and several tech giants including Alibaba Group, Fintech Affiliate Ant Group, Tencent Holding, JD.com and Baidu as well as the official Xinhua news agency have launched NFTs using the term digital collectibles. However, public blockchains, which are decentralized platforms, are illegal in China, where the government requires all internet systems to verify user identities and allow regulators to intervene in the event of illegal activities. To overcome that issue, BSN turned to a technology known as the Open Permissioned Blockchain OPB, an adapted version that can be governed by a designated group. The BSN DDC has already integrated with 10 OPBs, including adapted versions of the Ethereum and Corda blockchains, as well as domestic blockchains such as Fisco BCOS, initiated by Tencent-backed fintech firm WeBank. Minting fees, which can only be paid for with fiat money, can be as low as 0.05 yuan, that's 0.7 US cents, significantly lower than on public chains, BSN said. Red dates. He said he expected the BSN DDC to help generate more than 10 million NFTs, the amount needed for the project to turn a profit. While NFTs are currently used mostly for authenticating digital artworks, the biggest market would be management for accreditation such as car number plates. Such a system would give the car owner, government and insurer controlled access to data such as mileage, engine number and a repair history, with each party being aware of the other's rights. Just before you leave, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Of course, if you like the things we talk about on this channel. Thank you. Till next time. Bye.